The shoulder, um, what we're trying to do is trying to get right up in where those um, tendons are. Uh, so the, the best way to do that is to go in from the back because in the front, you got a lot of stuff in there. That's where all the meat is. And you can sometimes ru run into the core coil process, although it's kind of higher up. So, so the back is where we do our approach. Even though we're coming in from the back, the needle is extremely long. And... Um, <laughs> He gets the injection all the time, so he knows what we. Uh, but it's small, right? It's not. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not the length; it's the weight. No. Um, so, so, so we go. We kind of find that little um, uh, acromion, and we go, we find that corner. You can actually feel that corner, that acromion process. If you guys kind of lift up, feel over your shoulder, you'll feel a little knot. Feel that? Yeah. So we want to go right under that. Because that's, that's your acromion. What you're feeling is that corner right there of the acromion. All right? So we're going to get under there and uh, place the medicine right under that. Yeah. yeah. You can, yeah, yeah, you're getting right under there. So I'm going to mark that with a pen here where we want to go in. So we want to do about a finger's breadth or two right under that area. Finger's breadth? Wow. You're generous. Move on. All right. So that's where we're going in. Is it over? <laughs> And then we want to clean it off to make sure that we're not introducing any bacteria because that would be bad. So this is called... Thankfully, as far as we know, we've not done that. Not that I know. So we use a little iodine-based stuff. Oh, yeah, you haven't had a reaction to iodine, have you? Inside out, get all those bugs out of there. One more time, we do this three times to be super sure. Oh, oh. No. You're moving, you're moving. My circle's horrible now. I want to get the beta done on my clothes. I know, I'm about to get out four by fours. Oh, that's right, I forgot to bring those. Nice. Do we have a. Uh, Paper towels, yeah. Usually we use gauze, but we forgot that. I got so sick. All right, is anybody going to get sick? Okay, sorry. <laughs> anybody on that side of the table? All right, so, so you guys want to probably be where you can see it. You guys over here, I don't know if you want to maybe come over here. You, everybody can see? Yeah, if you just, yeah, then we can all see it. So I'm going to probably have to, I'm probably going to be right in your way. Okay. All right. So this is a uh, ethyl chloride. It's a, it's a cold spray. It does have no numbing stuff in it. But by making everything cold, we can numb the area. Um, so it's kind of like putting ice behind your ear when you get a uh, ear. Do they even do that anymore? Oh. No, no. They don't care about the pain. They don't care about the pain. So we're just going to spray. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even a needle. <laughs> Cold spray. <laughs> so you can see it's. Nope. All right. We got to go kind of quick before anything happens. So. I pulled back to make sure I wasn't in a vessel. And you can see the medicine is flowing very easily. That means I'm in that space I'm supposed to be, and I'm done. Really not that bad. How did it feel for you? How did that feel? Uh, they want to know. There's a little bit of a pressure feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did I do with mine? There we go. Oh, so we probably do a little sign off here. So I'm um, not wearing my usual doctor outfit, but you guys saw the actual injection. I apologize that the video cut out because the battery died on the phone. Uh, but we wanted to make sure you got the rest of the video. So next time, yep, Dr. Wayne Vaughn, oh, hey, Dr. Mark Vaughn, telling you to stay in good health. All right, you guys get a little added.